Far too often, police get to a crime scene, but the suspects are long gone. In Target 7 search for solutions, Shelby Cashman found a former Albuquerque police chief is testing new technology, giving police an advantage of time and sight. When your home alarm goes off, it usually takes several minutes for police to arrive. But thanks to a new form of drone technology developed by Berkeley students, some police agencies have figured out how to cut that into seconds. If there's a burglary, instead of potential um, suspects having three to four minutes to run away, the drone is on scene in 30 seconds. Typically, police agencies use drones to get aerial views of standoffs, traffic crashes, and crime scenes. Here in New Mexico, the state police have had drones for two years and have used them about 200 times. The drones are rarely used to respond the moment something happens, and they usually require a pilot. But new technology being tested by former Albuquerque police chief Ray Schultz sends drones to crime scenes the moment a call comes into 911. No pilot is needed. When those calls come into 911, there's a delay uh, from the time it takes to get your first responder from wherever they're at to the scene of the emergency. What this technology is allowing us to do is get eyes on the scene in just a matter of seconds. Schultz is now the police chief of Memorial Villages in Texas. They have been using the drones for the past two months to check out burglar alarms, suspicious vehicles, and traffic crashes. A 911 call taker determines if the call needs a drone, hits a button, and within seconds, dispatchers and officers can look at live video on their phone. We're seeing a, a huge difference in the way we respond to calls because now we know exactly what's going on firsthand in many cases before we get there. So if a home in this neighborhood was being broken into, an alarm would go off. A call would come into a dispatch center just like this one. And within 30 seconds, police and dispatchers would have a bird's eye view. The American Civil Liberties Union has some concerns if they were to come to Albuquerque. There should be somebody, a dispatcher involved making the decision taking the call and understanding whether or not there is a legitimate reason to send a drone or send an officer out. Schultz says the environment in Albuquerque is perfect for drones since there are not a lot of trees. Shelby Cashman, KOAT Action 7 News. Target 7 asked Albuquerque police if they're currently using drones or whether they'd consider using them in the future. They did not respond. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office is in the process of buying one drone but didn't say specifically what it will be used for.